Hi guys, Mr. Chairman 2020 here, and um, we're going to make a quick, quick update. So, um, if you watch my latest video, so please watch it. Uh, it's my latest video, so it's pretty, hard, pretty busy to find. So, um, if you watch that, I said that um, after the Destiny season, well, it's on the first strongest place is cool and Lloyd. Well, no. I changed my mind because after the events of the Fury of Fire, it is um, Lloyd, because it's Lloyd, it's also, um, wait, I can't find minifigure of Cole right now, so it's Lloyd Cole, and um, sometimes uh, Lloyd Cole, Kai, because Earth and fire, the second strongest elements in my series. And uh, sometimes Jay, because his lightning is going to evolve, but sometimes he's a pretty awesome character. And um, he'll sometimes defeat Lloyd, but he'll still not win, I guess. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But this is another story because this is even of where Jay is going to evolve, is even. Where Jay and Nia are going to evolve, Nia is going to be more powerful than Zane or something. Then this, she's going to grow up. But this is going to be after my chapter 2, even after my uh, first part of my series. So, uh, yeah. So it's going to be very, very, very far away. But uh, very close is going to be the Fury of Fire. So we can consider Kai one of the strongest ninjas too. And uh, why did people say they think Cole is the stronger? Well, yeah, Earth is a pretty strong element in my series, so they're partially right. But just look, so uh, in my series, Skylar can't absorb golden power, which is the strongest element of all in my series. And so there is golden power, then destruction and darkness tides, then energy. So that Skylar can't absorb darkness. Uh, she can't absorb golden power. She can't absorb destruction and she also can't absorb energy. So and on the fourth place, it is earth and fire. So. I forgot the ranking. So what was the first? It was, uh, it was golden power, then destruction and darkness, then energy, then uh, on the fourth place is earth and light, earth and fire, and sometimes lightning. Anyway, so um, and ice, sometimes. Okay, so uh, what I mean with sometimes? Well, they sometimes get more furious like Kai, they sometimes get more, they sometimes evolve, so that's why I say sometimes. Cole is sometimes tied to Lloyd, but uh, yeah, so Skylar can absorb energy, so from the ninja's elements, well, the naturally elements, like energy, fire, lightning, ice, water, and uh, earth, it's a uh, Energy is the only one which Skylar can absorb. So it's the strongest element of these four. No, of these six, lol. Because I was thinking of the first four elements. Lightning, ice, fire, and earth. Yeah, lol. So the, of these six, it's the only element which Skylar can't absorb in my series. But, also Lloyd's power was the only one who, which can cure or create new arms or blah 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 or oh, and is the only element which can transform dark villain armor into a uh, hero armor in my series so this is a pretty strong uh, thing but also why call may be sometimes the strongest because he's going to unlock new elements during this destiny seasons and uh and um 
it's, it's going to be a very, very big surprise at the finale of it. So be sure to watch it till the end. My Cole fans, including this year. But, dude, I don't understand one fact. First you thought it was Lloyd. Now you think it is Cole. Lol. But in fact, Lloyd was the one which unlocked all the four elements and the ninjas couldn't unlock her didn't unlock them themselves and Lloyd was the one which gave the four elements to the four ninjas in f in fact so yeah thank you for watching and I'm going to see you at the next video bye bye